A coordinated action to instill an intolerant and aggressive Islamist ethos in some Birmingham schools. The scathing verdict of the fourth and final report into the alleged Trojan horse plot carried out by a former counter-terror chief for the Department for Education. There is a group of people of like mind who are well known to each other, uh, who have been working together for a number of years and they have deliberately sought out, uh, sought to bring those practices into the schools. Amongst other findings, Mr Clark's report discovered a group called the Parkview Brotherhood on a social media group, which he said gives a clear and disturbing insight into the attitudes of a group of staff on the Parkview Trust. The messages included explicit homophobia, an ambition to increase segregation of girls and boys, and an anti-Western undercurrent. We spoke to one of the governors of Golden Hillock School last week, one of the schools at the centre of the allegations. He told Five News the governors there were not trying to turn it into a faith school. No, I could categorically say no. There, has, there hasn't been attempts since I've been there, and nor do the governors have any desire to do so. Today's report also highlights the failure of Birmingham City Council to address problems at schools like this one, Old No Academy, where there was a risk of accusations of Islamophobia. The council says it's working closely with the Department for Education and says it's made progress already on its recommendations. With permission, Mr Speaker. Addressing the Commons earlier, the Education Secretary said she was determined to put things right. I have spoken to Sir Albert Bohr and we have agreed that I will appoint a new Education Commissioner within the Council to oversee its actions to address the fundamental criticisms in the Kershaw and Clark reports. Now all the reports are out, the pressing task for the new Education Secretary is to ensure the measures she puts in place now will prevent such abuses happening again, either in Birmingham or anywhere else.